move out of the way, sir. Now, wait a minute, boys. I'm here to uphold the law and protect my prisoner. You'd better protect your family. That's more important. We want that horse thief, and we're going to get him. Uh, we want him. Don't be stubborn now, Pete. We don't want to hurt you, none, if we can help it. Come on. Open up. Open up, Sheriff. Save yeah, yourself yeah, trouble now. The boys mean it now. Go on and open up. I suppose you boys are plumb satisfied. You've got the right man. You were riding a Circle Brand horse the day after he was stolen. That's enough for us. We got the right man. Take him out, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him, boys. Get him out. Got anything to say before you do your dance? Well, I didn't shoot Johnson. I didn't steal his horse. But if you boys have made up your minds, I guess I'm wasting my breath. <laughs> We've heard that before. Give me a cigarette, will you? Hey, Buck! What's eating you? Hey, boss, I mentioned that stranger we sold that circle horse to. Well, I'm blowed. I give that boy my personal guarantee. You stay here, Luke. Come on, boys, let's go. Might as well get it over with. Give me that rope. Got her tied off good? Let her go! What's all this about? How you feel, buddy? Okay, boy, thanks. You're interfering with the cause of justice. Brother, it won't be the first time. That fellow shot a man named Johnson and stole his horse. I don't believe it. But if you boys are inclined to argue the point, that's a different matter. Well, now he... Uh... Ah, that's enough. You and your gang clear out of here. Come on, boys. Thanks, mister. I'm sure grateful. But how's come you went to all this trouble for me? I ain't much on explaining, but my friend gave you his personal guarantee on that horse. Well, you certainly hold your guarantee all right. You bet we do. Going into town? Nope. It's only a little ways over the state line. And I'm figuring the climate's healthy on the other side. You're welcome to join us if you want to. Seems like those other boys are aiming to teach me a lesson about riding on strange horses. You're the doctor. You might need this. Thanks, mister. I hope I can help you out someday.
What did you have? Where's Larkin? He sent for me. He's upstairs. Come in. So you are the foreman of the barracks? Yeah. I understand the boys haven't been paid for three or four months. Yeah? More than that. They are wasting their time. She never will be able to pay them. Now I can give them jobs. And I'll pay you a hundred dollars if you swing the whole outfit. It seems kind of low down to run out on a widow like that. Don't let that bother you. I am the buyer out at a fair price. Did you say... Uh, a hundred dollars? Yes. Thanks. Remember, I don't like excuses. There'll be no excuses. We sort of hate to leave you, Mrs. Barton. But you, you know how it is. I don't blame you, boys. It does seem kind of hopeless. They're quitting because they're scared. Hush, son. Goodbye, Mrs. Barton. Good luck. Don't feel bad, Mom. I'll take care of you. I know you will, son. Guess I better go down and take a look at those fences. I don't think Larkin's men would dare harm a boy, but you be careful. I will, Mom. Hey, Joe, take that brat away. You better get out of here, kid, before I lose my temper. I won't. That stock belongs to us, and you have no right to turn it loose. You better clear out of here before I fill you full of daylight. You can't scare me. You're yellow, or you wouldn't be working for Larkin. Didn't hurt the kid, did you? No. Just nicked his horse. What's the matter, boy? Get up! Come on, get up! Oh, boy! Don't die! Please don't! Oh, come on, kid, get up! What's the matter, buddy? No, no, don't cry like that. Tell me all about it. Maybe I can help you. Nobody can help me. He's dead. My pa's dead. And now Phil's dead. Guess I can't do nothing about your pa. 
If he's dead, or your horse either. How'd that happen? Larkin's men did it. What excuse did they have? I tried to stop them from cutting our fence. Well, that's not a very good excuse. They're back there now, running our cattle off. Well, that ain't very neighborly. Let you and I go back there and give them a few kind words. Better not, mister. They'll just take a shot at you if you butt in. <laughs> well, I'm used to being shot at, Sonny. Come on, Sonny. Jump down, kid, and keep in the clear. There might be some gunplay. Are you boys sure you got the right animals? Stranger around here, ain't you? Leastways, I don't know you, and I doubt if I'd relish your acquaintance. You must be a stranger. You'd know better than to butt in. Nevertheless, I'm taking a hand, and I'm warning you not to draw unless you feel mighty lucky. Why, you... Oh, boy! Hit the ground and keep your hands up where I can see them. Get those irons, kid. Now get busy and fix that fence. You're pretty handy with that gun. But you can't make me fix that fence. Can you handle a shooting iron, kid? Sure. I can knock your buttons off from here. Want to see me? No, no. Not now. Keep your eye on the little one. I'll tend to the big one. Oh, let me dust him off a bit. He's the one that shot my horse. No, no, not now. Let him alone if he behaves himself. Put up your hands, cowboy. Will you fix that fence? No. No, will you fix the fence? Yeah, I'll fix it. Now get busy. And you too. I'll get even with that bird if it's the last thing I ever do. Uh, you'll never have a better chance than you had today. Oh. Huh? Oh. Uh. Uh. You better run in the house, Sonny. No, you gotta stay for dinner. Mom'll be put out if you don't. She's a swell cook. It's a pretty nice place you got here. Say, maybe your mom can use a good cow hand. I should say she could. Oh, but we ain't got money to pay wages. And besides, you wouldn't want the job if you knew about Larkin. Larkin? What about him? He wouldn't rest until he run you out of the country. And you say your mother's a good cook? I don't say she is. Sounds like a good job to me. I think I'll take it. Do you mean it? I certainly do. Swell, come on. Hey, Ma, come here. Hey, Ma, come out here a minute. Just think, we got a new cow hand. Man, I live in Miss Silva. Boy, can he fight?
Bill, you've been working too hard. I shouldn't let you do it. Got to get some beef ready for the market. We need money so we can hire some more hands. Larkin will stop us some way from selling any stock. He always wanted a place to count the water. My husband liked to gamble, and Larkin helped it along. He got Bruce to sign a note for a thousand dollars. Now he's trying to keep us from paying it off. Well, was the game crooked? I should say it was. They stacked the cards against him, and when he found out, he tried to draw. They shot him down before he even got his gun out. I think I'll ride into town tonight. Do be careful. Now don't you worry about me. I can take care of myself. Especially when I know what kind of people I'm dealing with. Oh, so long, Bobby. So long, Bill. What did you have? A little straight bourbon. You know any cow hands that want to work around here? Sure. Ed, Louis, come in. A couple of good all-around men. I can vouch for both of them. What's the job? I'm just making yourself handy around the bar X. Not interested. Any uh, yellow fever around here? No, but there's lots of lead poison. Are you the new foreman of the Bar X? Yeah. Well, the boss wants to see you upstairs. Well, let him wait. But he's the boss. Give me a sack of smoking tobacco. Cut that out. You won't get far in this town without being nice to me. Oh, I wanted to make enough money to get away from this town. I could fix that too. As I said, if you'd be a little nice to me. Why, you little bitch! Get out. I am busy. I understand you want to talk to me. Who are you? I'm handling things down to Bar X. I'll talk to you some other time. If you want to talk to me, talk now. I'm quite sure you won't mind, miss. You'll find that it pays to mind your own business in this town. That's a pretty good policy anywhere. What was it you wanted to see me about? To get right to the point, I'll pay you six months' wages to clear out. I'm aiming to earn my money, and I'm sticking around. It might not be healthy around here for you. I've noticed signs of nasty weather, but I'm feeling fine so far. Sit down. Three, a five, a nice of diamonds, a possible flush, ten of hearts. Make your betting, boys. Well, what do you do? Excuse me. All right. What do you got, boys? You better stay out of the game. It's crooked. Well, that sounds possible. Don't be a fool. I know the fellow who serves the drinks. What's the matter with him? Mm, nothing. Only sometimes he carries a special deck of cards on the bottom of the tray. Hmm. That's a pretty neat way to handle a cold deck, isn't it? Now, don't get yourself excited. I knew the game was crooked. Oh. I'm working for Mrs. Barton. You know, her husband got killed in there. Yes. I knew about that. How's come a nice girl like you working in this place? Thanks for the compliment. I wouldn't if I had any way of getting back home. 
Well, maybe I could help you out in that direction if... Now, uh... don't spoil it, cowboy. And I was just beginning to like you. Don't get me wrong, sister. I'm talking business. Those birds in there are out to trim anybody that comes along. And I'd like to give them a dose of their own medicine. You'd have to shoot your way out of that place. Well, that doesn't bother me. It's getting a hold of some of those cards. I'm a pretty good poker player myself. Now, if I was to get in that game and make a killing, it might work out fine all the way around. I could pay off the Barton's note and help you, too. If you want to help Mrs. Barton, I'm with you. What do you want me to do? Well, first off, get me a deck of those special cards. I'll be back in a minute. Sophie, give me a glass of water, please. Sure. They are. Now keep your eye on that dealer. His favorite trick is to shoot from under the table. Well, I'll watch him. Thanks very much, Miss, uh, uh... Alice is the name. Mine's Bill. Glad to meet you, Bill. Same here, Miss Alice. I'll be back again tomorrow night. I'll better get back inside. Good night, Bill. Take care of yourself, cowboy. Big word. Help you up. Do you think you can get on your horse? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Why don't you stand up?
How is he? It's going to take a right smart bit of nursing to pull him through. Well, I sure would like to see him get well. You know, I had a terrible ailment with my neck once, and he fixed it up as good as new. I do think we should send for a doctor. Oh, no, he'd vote against a doctor if he could talk. In fact, he wouldn't want anyone to know where he is right now. All right, if he's a friend of yours. Thanks very much, Mrs. Barton. That's awfully nice of you. Well, see you later. Cowboy. Bill's the name. You haven't changed your mind, have you? No. Well, you just slip these cards back where you got them, and you leave the rest to me. Okay. And you can say goodbye now if you want to, because when I leave, I might be in an awful hurry. Goodbye, cowboy. I mean, Bill. Did you ever think about getting married? Well, you better start thinking right now. Because I'm coming back just as soon as I can. Please be careful. Game? Yeah, sit down. There's a queen, a pair, a deuce, a four, and a jack. Make your bets for us. That's five. Give me a stack of chips. I'll call that a lazy. Hello, mister. How you feeling? <laughs> Not bad, sonny. Not bad. Sure lucky I found you. <laughs> That's right, buddy. Thanks. Bill and me sure had a tough time getting you in the house. Who's Bill? I don't remember him. He's our new foreman. In fact, Bill and me, we're the whole crew around here. Short-handed, huh? We're making more beef than we did before. Bill's worth a dozen wranglers like we had. <laughs> well, he must be some top hand. You bet. Larkin's men haven't bothered us once since he came. Larkin? Name sounds familiar. Who is he? Just a greasy foreigner. Owns a saloon and three ranches. Big shot, eh? I'll have to look him up sometime. Big shot nothing. He wouldn't fight a flea. He hires all his dirty work done. I see. Plays it safe. One of his men shot my pop. He's been after our ranch ever since. But he won't get it now. Now that Bill's here. I'm getting kind of curious about this Bill. Where is he? He went to town before you woke up. I'd like to meet him. He must be some man to hear you talk. All I hope is when I grow up, I'll be just like him. That beats me. Bet him high, cowboy. Full house beats the straight, partner. A queen, a nine. A deuce, a five, and a five, your bet. Bet two. I'll call. Pretty lucky. How about buying a drink? Sure. What do you have? What do you have, fellas? Same thing. Same thing for Same. me. Hey, Smokey. What did it be, gents? Three bourbons. Make mine brandy this time.
Here you are, boys. Well, 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 here we are. Everybody satisfied? Pretty good brandy. Sure, it's okay, boss. Let them go. It's getting late, boys. I'm gonna take the limit off for a few hands. Suits me. It's okay with me. I'll open. I'm staying. I'll stay. And up a hundred. <laughs> I'll seat it up a hundred and raise you two hundred. Leaves me out. Too steep for me. Well, there's your two hundred. And there's two hundred more. Feeling pretty lucky, aren't you? I'll just tap you. That suits me. How many? I'll play these. Oh. Four aces. Still satisfied? Well, there's no cause for complaint. Got the straight flush. Straight flush? Put your hands up on the table where I can see them. Pile up! I'm cashing in. Put the money in that hat. Keep your hands up. Don't move. What's this for? I'm taking up Barton's note. It's not for sale. Maybe I can persuade you to sell it. Now get it. thought about getting married. I said, no. He said, well, you'd better think about it. From the way you describe him, he must be awful interesting. Oh, he's just ordinary to look at. But he's got grit, and he seems honest and kind. Well, them is things that most women don't appreciate. <laughs> oh, I know it. And I used to think a handsome face and a flashy necktie were important. Nothing like hard knocks to put sense in your head. You think there's really any chance of him buying you a ticket home? I'm not so sure I want to go. Now. You look tired. I'll bet you've been up all night. Oh, I'm all right. How's the sick man? He's better. He wants to see you. Well, I'll go in and chin with him a minute while you get those hot groceries ready. Feeling better this morning? Yeah. Seems like I ought to remember you. <laughs> if I was hanging to a tree, perhaps you'd recognize me better. Sure, sure, I remember you now. You're the fellow who wouldn't join up with us after we saved your bacon. <laughs> That's right. I suppose you know there's a price on my head. 
That wouldn't surprise me none. Now, you just take it easy and rest up a bit. Nobody knows you're here. I'd feel better if the boys knew where I am. I'll tend to it. We'll talk it over after breakfast. All right. about that note. Don't worry about the note. I took care of it last night. Here, you better burn it. How did you get it? I won it. Had a little argument afterwards. I'll go out and talk to him. Hey! What do you want? You, mister, for shooting Charlie Bowen last night. He shot first. You know that. You'll have a chance to explain that to the jury. There won't be no calling to explain that shooting. Everybody knows how it came up. Maybe you're right. But I'm sheriff here, and it's up to me to conduct an inquiry. Well, that's the way of it. I guess I can't object. Well, I get my hat. I'm going downtown with the boys. Don't go with them. They're Larkin's men. The sheriff, too? Yes. He's hand and glove with them. But what can they do? It ain't like I committed a crime. They won't give you a square deal. Promise me you won't go with them. Okay. Sorry to disappoint you, Sheriff, but I'm aiming to stay here. We aim to take you with us, one way or another. Take it easy, Sheriff, or you'll lose the next election by default. Come on out, or we'll start smoking you out. What are you doing in here? Well, I was just taking a shot. The fella killed my horse. Get over there, your mom. Oh, please let me take another shot. Get on over there. It's no use. I'm going out. If I stay here, you all are liable to get hurt. You mustn't go. They'll murder you. Now, don't get excited. I got a plan to draw them away from the house. Here, Bobby. Now, come on. Now, you keep shooting out the window. Don't try to hit anybody. Just keep them interested. Now, be careful. What's up? Sheriff's trying to persuade me to visit his jail. Where's Mike? Now listen, right. you'll be doing me a favor if you stay right here. I'll get rid of him pronto.
Put that gun. Get on your horse. Well, we got your man. He's over in the jail. In jail? I don't want him in jail. I want him buried. You don't think I'm going to let him go to trial, do you? This man knows too much. This is bad business, Larkin. One of these days, you're going to overplay your hand. Then I want advice. I'll ask for it. You skin on back home to your mother. That's where you belong. I don't want to go home. I don't want nothing to happen to you. Oh, partner, that's no way for you to act. But I want to help you. All right. You tell the man with the scar on his face how things are. Maybe he'll have an idea. All right. All right, that's a good boy. Vamos. Sheriff, how would you like to get out of here? I ain't partial to jails. Few men are. I've been inquiring about your scrape. And I don't blame you very much. Thanks, Sheriff. Now. I'm going to unlock this door. You wait about ten minutes. And then you can walk right out. Why can't I walk out with you? <clears throat> well, uh, that might make it a little awkward for me. Sure. You might get in the way of some hot lead. Well, anyhow, the door's open. Any other way out of here besides that door to the street? No. I didn't want to leave him. He made me come. He said you might know what to do. How about it, kid? Do you ride pretty well? Why, sure. You know where Pine Box Canyon is? Why, yeah. I'll give you a note. And if anyone tries to stop you, just tell them you have a message for Luke Sharp. Get me a pencil and paper. Remember, if anyone stops you, don't try to ride past them. Hurry. Bobby, where are you going? Don't stop me, Mike. I take a note to somebody. Hey, go. That hombre's too smart. He won't come out. Fine bunch, I got. We could go in and get him. No. We have got to handle this so it won't look too long. I'll tell you. We could pull a lynching party like we did with Bascom.
Listen, fellas. These killings have been going on too long. Now, you all knew Charlie Bowen? Sure, sure. he did. Never harmed anybody. A regular fella if there ever was one. Sure. sure. This man, Bovey, shot him down in cold blood. No excuse for it. Just plain out and out murder. That's what yeah. I mean. There's something done about that. Something should be done about it, boys. Right. Hold on. I saw that play and I... How are we going to stand by and wait a little Hold on, up? boys. These men in jail will get what's coming to him sooner or later. Yeah, sooner or later. I say, the sooner the better. Wait. Uh, 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 is right. Hanging's too good for him. Have Moby string him up. Sure, let him dance. Yeah. He'll get a fancy lawyer. Yeah, yeah come on. Let's Put the rope around him. Hey, 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 hey. Bill. 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 Come to the window. What are you doing here? They're going to lynch you. What will I do? The front door's still open. Anybody watching it? Yes, Joe's there. Then I'll have to take a chance and run for it. No, no, not that. But that's the only way out of here. Wait a minute. There's a skylight. I'll climb up and open it. All I want is just a few of Charlie Bowen's friends to come with me. Oh, oh, wait, oh. wait, wait, nothing. Come on, fella, let's go. This way, mister. And you too. And don't forget, I'm just itching to let daylight through you. All right, smart guy, get going. He's gone! Flew the coop. Yeah. The man with the scar on his face told me to give you that. The man with the scar on his face? Yeah. Where is he? He got hurt and Bill found him and Mom is taking care of him. Say, it's from Scarface, all right, boys. He's laying up over to Bar X Ranch. The boss has got a little job he wants us to do. On your horses, man. Idea, Joe. I saw this girl. 
sneaking around the jail. I followed, and I saw her turning this bird loose. So that's the way it is. Perhaps you know something about that little card game the other night. Draw your own conclusions. We'll take care of you after this smart fellow is out of the way. Joe, the men went over to the jail looking for this fellow. You better run over there and tell them where he is. All right. You better get out. They won't shoot you if I'm not with you. I'm staying here, Bill. Get back. Steady, honey. He can't bother you or anybody else anymore. <laughs> 